military plane. Probably checking out our IR. Today on Two Kubota Outdoors, I'm joined by my cousin Hank. Hi. Today we're going to look at, actually tonight we're going to look at Creative XP's Glass Owl Binocular Pro. Let's, Let's get, get to it. it. So what we're going to do with these binoculars here today is we're going to lay out a straight line and we'll show you what that looks like here in just a minute. We're going to arm ourselves with some walkie-talkies, a rangefinder, a can of orange spray paint. What I'm going to do is send Hank in a straight line and we're going to mark off distances of 250 feet, 500 feet, 750 feet, 1,000 feet, 1,250 feet to test out simply just how well this night vision binocular setup by Creative XP does in common everyday situations. So some common everyday applications for the Creative XP binoculars might be just for some general sightseeing, possibly just scouting out in the fields for maybe coyote hunting or something like that, but mainly for uh, night vision enthusiasts, people that are interested to see what's happening out near you at all hours of the night. Uh, tap your, your taillights when you get to each spot. Yep. You know, just tap them a little bit, you know, and pause for a few seconds, and then we'll have you continue going on to the next to the next interval. So before we return to the field, this might give you a better understanding of what it is we're trying to do. We're exploring the uh, IR illuminator. We're going to illustrate for you all what each distance looks like. We have from our setup here, 250 feet, 500, 750, 1,000, 1250 and then we were able to get way on the outer limits and then we're just going to have an overall chat about the performance at each one of these levels we're going to explore during our field test is just how far we can really see on the box here it says about 1300 feet we're also going to be exploring the lighting system on this as part of our field test primarily looking at the IR capability and the uh, brightness or the illuminator so here are our binoculars. You can see that there are several different levels of settings on here. This is a mode to change between camera and video mode. There's a, a 2x optical zoom right here. This button is to take photos or videos to snap or start a video. And this is our IR setting. So there'll be three levels as I understand it. There's also a zoom on here as well. You know, basically a focus. And then of course our uh, display window. There are some USB and AV on the side here as well as the 32 gig uh, card that you can see in there so this is pretty cool to actually have this function built in we're now ready to go with our nighttime field test of the creative xp glass owl night vision binoculars you can see it's pretty dark out there's a small wind uh, temperature is probably right around freezing about 30 degrees fahrenheit we're going to so. send hank out in a line and he's going to stop at each interval and tap his brakes two times and then we're going to show you basically what this looks like at night in terms of clarity and ability to see what's happening out in the field as he goes through each one of those intervals you ready to do it yep as we're approaching our first interval of 250 feet hank is now here and i am not using the illuminator yet but we'll go ahead and turn that on right now so he turned off his lights and we'll try to get a focus here. This is on a level one setting. Here's the IR2 and the IR3 and now back to off. This is again at 250 feet. So right now Hank's at 500 feet. We have no IR on. Now we're turning the IR on, trying to focus. Have the second IR on and a third IR. Right now, Hank's at about about 750 feet. It's pretty tough to see where he is out there. I have the third illumination on. We can kind of see his headlights out there. So he's telling us he's at a thousand feet right now, and it's pretty tough to see. I'm going to zoom in maybe very faintly we can see him in the distance but it's pretty tough to see at a thousand feet uh 12 probably about 1300 1400 feet now and it's uh just pretty tough to see maybe we could see the headlights 
All right, turn on your lights and come on back. So what Hank's doing, he has his parking lights on and he's driving back. That's what it looks like in reality. So there he is at a thousand. So we're up in some pine trees and we want to show you guys you know what this thing can do in shorter distances like a 50 feet or 75 feet or less it's really pretty remarkable what this can do so we'll turn off the light and take an IR of the same area and uh, this is again probably about 50 50 feet 75 feet that we're looking into now into some uh, thick brush and there's a lot of detail in here so and Hank said about uh, probably about 75 feet This is at 300 feet and Hank is standing just to the right in the tree line. There's no question anything up to probably 500 feet this thing's going to be pretty good. Here are a couple of key takeaways. We found that in our test we can reliably see features up to probably 500 to 750 feet pretty clearly. Beyond that it was really difficult to see the features or some of the objects that you're looking at. So the 1,300 feet that was indicated on the box is probably not going to be super realistic for most applications and uses on a day-to-day -day basis. Now to be fair, when we were using my phone to peer inside of the viewfinder, the binoculars, there was some loss of resolution in that. And on the screen itself of the binoculars, the features were a little bit more clear and you could make out some of the features to that end, I think as we get out past a thousand feet, it's pretty much a, a hard stretch to really see features. But for the price of about $275 to $375 for general purpose night vision binoculars, this thing's pretty nice. After reviewing some of the footages after being up in the woods, it was actually really cool to see how clear the picture was on the binocular screen. Distance part can be a little tricky to see after a thousand feet and I do agree with that. I don't know if the snow had anything to do with it or not but until next time on Two Kubota Outdoors. It's really cold out here too and windy right now. You want me to get out and like wave or something? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy you can cut things out. Yeah well I thought that was good. Don't be recording it right now, oh, like you are. <laughs> Hoggles or by by. Uh... I'm gonna take some getting used to doing that kind of stuff. <laughs> How did it go for you? Good. There we have it. <laughs>